Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to make these really cute mittens. Um, I went a little bit vintage and they are from Woodpecker's Crafts and I'll have a link in the description. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. A while back we had tea dyed and coffee dyed some paper in some music notes um, that I had printed on paper so I am using this for this project. Um, it wasn't as dyed on this sheet as I liked so I did end up using some vintage wax on it but I do like how it turned out. Right now I'm just painting the mittens with Waverly Cashew paint. Um, it's actually a pretty color. I really like this one. Um, so I am just painting all sides because um, I want to make sure that they're completely finished. Now I'm going to put on the music notes. Instead of using Mod Podge, I really like to use this acrylic lacquer. Um, it's a thinner, smoother finish um, and I tend to not get as many bubbles or chunks in my actual paper um, using this product. So I do like this one. So I will put a link in the description um, so you can find it as well. But it doesn't yellow either after a while if you use like a poly. Um, so this is a good alternative for Mod Podge. Now I'm just sanding off the overlap of the paper um, that was on the mittens that I cut a little big, uh, but it's kind of hard to cut exactly to the mittens when you're tracing them. So just taking sandpaper and getting off that extra. And now I'm gonna take some jute twine and make the cuffs of the mittens. I'm just wrapping it around with some hot glue, um, making sure that they're all nice and flat and even, and then we'll go on to the next. Now I'm just distressing with some antique wax around on the music notes and around the edging of the gloves. Now I did end up putting more on after this. Um, I wanted them a little bit darker than they came out the first time, um, but in this video that's what I did. Just taking some brown unfinished beads and a little white bell um, and putting on a little tiny pine cone.
Now I left the little loops of the pine cone at the top. So if you wanted to hang them singly, you could, um, but I kind of wanted them to be a pair on a string. So I ended up putting some ribbon that I used as bows as the string to hold them together. Now I did decide to add another bow on top of that bow with raffia um, to give it more of like a vintage look. Um, so there it is with the raffia and all done hanging on my tree. These would be perfect in a wreath or even like a shadow box. Um, I just love how these turned out and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.